Do you know the difference between RDA and daily value? I'm Susan Bowerman, registered dietitian, and if you were to pick up a food package and turn it around and look at the Nutrition Facts panel, chances are you'd see a column next to the list of nutrients that says percent DV. That stands for daily value. These daily values are values of intake that are established for each of the nutrients that are in that food and for a serving of that food. So for example, if you looked at your Nutrition Facts panel and it said that it provided 25% of your daily value for vitamin C, that's the amount you'd be getting in a serving of that food. Now these daily values are established to meet the needs of all healthy adults. But where did those daily values come from? they're actually based on something a little more specific called the RDA, or the Recommended Dietary Allowances. If you were to look at a Recommended Dietary Allowance table, it would be much more specific. You'd see values for men, values for women, and you'd further see values depending on your age group. The important thing to remember is that when you're looking at a food label and you see those daily values listed, there's usually two columns one for a 2,000 calorie diet and one for a 2,500 calorie diet. If your calorie intake falls in those ranges, you can use those numbers to establish about the amounts that you're getting when you eat a serving of that food. Just be aware that if your diet contains fewer calories per day, you'll be getting a little bit less of the daily value for the nutrients that are listed on the label.